Hey, welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to continue my winter golf round here at Oak Tree National. We're going to head back out to 15, which I'm on right now. And I don't know if you've been paying attention to this, but winter golf, it's a challenge and it's, it's different than normal golf. So I want to walk you through some of the shots that you run into when it's cold, when it's windy, and when you're not quite feeling good. Come join me on the golf course. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're going to go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. So, you know, the, the course is played, I'm not going to say it's played super hard. Um, certain holes have played harder. This is what happens in winter golf is certain holes play harder than others. It, the characteristics of the golf course, you know, when you play a golf course as much as I played this golf course, this is always a hard golf course. Um, obviously conditions can make this course, where they place the tee boxes, where they put the hole locations, all those things can change. But then you get winter conditions like this. Grass is dormant, it's very, it's very, um, you know, it's very matted down, so you get some weird lies. Sometimes you get more roll than other times, sometimes you don't. The greens are very firm, um, and the, obviously, obviously in the wind, the wind's cold and the ball doesn't fly as far. So there's a lot of conditions that change, and there's a lot of times that rounds like this are simply just survival. Now, this hole here, 15, we've made it through the first five holes pretty, pretty unscathed. I think we've done pretty well. Um, this hole here will be, uh, it's one of those survival holes here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super happy with a par here. So let me explain this hole really fast. Um, Normally, normal conditions, if I, wind's coming out of the left, so we've already, we've already, we can see the flag blowing here, the wind's coming out of the left. You, you gotta keep this in the left side of the fairway to have a chance at a shot at the flag. I'm looking at the flag right now, which I can see from here, it's middle left of the green, so it's kinda opened up. Um, but we're gonna have a long shot into this green. If, you know, I wanna hit this drive good, but we're gonna have, we could have 200 yards into this green, so I'm gonna really, really, just try to keep it left half of the fairway here, left side. If the wind kicks it down in the middle, that's fine. And then maybe try to hit the green or get it on the front side. And uh, if we get out of here with the par, we are super excited. So let's, let's go aim left side. Well, pretty typical. I hit it okay. It didn't, I didn't hit it hard enough. I didn't quite catch it solid. It stayed on the left side, but it's not gonna catch the kind of the fast part of the fairway. So it left us a very, very long shot into this green. But that's uh, kind of like if winter golf, if you, if you, um, watch when I have the shot. Normally on this hole, I will have seven iron, eight iron, nine iron. The longest shot I'll have is a six iron. It'll be on this upslope and not a hard shot. I guarantee we'll have 210 yards, 220 yards in here today. And that's because it's just cold and the ball is not flying and, and uh, you don't quite hit the driver solid. Even though I hit it on a good line, I mean, I, I would take that line all day long. It just doesn't quite feel like you can get the ball out there. You're not swinging the free swinging, hit it hard, flight the ball. It's just not there, it's, it's, it's constricted. So it just makes the game, and like I was talking about in, in the last segment, these holes are playing 10, 15 yards longer. I'm hitting it 10, 15 yards shorter per shot. So you add all these things together and all of a sudden, uh, the course is playing two or three, four shots harder. Now, let's see what I got here, because, um, One seventy four. One seventy four. You know, it got out here a little bit. I, I maybe I was complaining too much on this one. Um, I did get it out here enough to you know have a hundred and seventy five yard shot into the green. Generally, if I hit that ball good, it'll get down there into that area where it's probably twenty thirty yards up there. But okay, let's not complain. All right, so one hundred seventy four. 
Let's pull two clubs out of the bag. Let's walk through this. Now, 174 yard shot for me is a six iron. Uh, I, can, I can hit a seven iron sometimes that far. This, what I'm feeling right now, is the wind is actually maybe, let me see what's it doing. It's going, it's coming straight from the left. And here's what I try to do when I play a little winter golf. Now I can hit a six iron. I think six iron is probably the club that can get me there. Um, one of the things you have to assess, you know, it's cold, how do you feel, how tight are you, uh, can you hit the 6 iron 170 right now, Is that you feel like that. So I, I have a 5 iron and a 6 iron, I'm considering the 5, let's just hit the 5 and here's what I'm going to do to it. I'm just going to basically move my hands down and then I'm not going to swing hard at it, I'm just going to try to hit it solid. I'm going to aim left of the flag. I know the wind's coming from the left, and the wind will kick it back to the right. So let's just aim left side of the, of the green there. And I kind of feel good about that. The ball's a little bit on the upslope, so I think it'll kick it even more to the right. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can hit a nice shot on the left side. A little five iron. Yeah. So, it's on the front edge. Here's what I felt on that one. I get on here, I'm kind of on a weird slope. I hit it okay. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say I flushed it, but I hit a really nice line. Took off on the left line where I wanted it. Wind kicked it back to the front edge. It didn't get all the way to the flag because I didn't quite hit it solid, but it's, it's what happens when you play winter golf because you're tight, your body doesn't feel loose, you're, you know, you're kind of in a, you just don't feel comfortable. You got to get that ball moving on your lines. I'm a line guy, so I hit it right on my line. All right, let's go look at where this ball is. Should be on the front edge of the green and easily make a par. And I'm happy with a par here, by the way. Um, now, here's, here's what's interesting about what's going on right now in this round. I'm not flushing it. I'm not peering it. I'm not hitting it perfect. I'm not flagging it. <laughs> I'm not playing, I'm not shooting 20 under par. <laughs> I'm getting it around the course. Um, and sometimes you just have to keep getting around the course and take what you can get. And so look at, look where my shot ended up. Um, it came in here, it bounced, it didn't even land on the green, it bounced up. And it left me, you know, what do I got here? 35, maybe 40 feet. But it's, it's, Mo used to always tell me, and I probably understand it better now than I did when he told me, is just give yourself a chance, give yourself a chance, give yourself a chance. What you have not seen me do in this round is nail it in the trees, chipping it out, trying to hit miracle shots, um, trying to, you know, like I gotta hit six iron back there and try to flat a ball in there. No, I hit a five iron and just try to get it into the front half here. Um, I am playing golf that's gonna leave me with my best score today because I haven't done anything crazy. All right, let's do a quick read on this. Um, everything's going that way. Look how high that part of the green is. I come up here, I can easily see that it's all gonna go into the left side of the hole. So I just gotta de decide how much, how much to the left do I wanna play this ball here. A little uphill at first, then it kinda creeps that way. Um, I'm gonna give it some give it some room. I'm gonna let it move a little bit. I think it moves pretty good. So, all right, I'm in a pretty good speed putt here. I wanna I wanna put a little better speed on this one than I have been. It's gonna move a little bit. That was a great speed. I um, you know, it's funny. Right when I hit it, I knew I didn't have it on the left side enough, but you can see that from that distance, I mean, it's a good putt, and I'm never gonna three putt that on those speeds. So, to walk away this hole, which I think to me is it's a hard hole today because the wind's hurting you from the, the left side. I had an okay drive, uh, I'd take it. The shot in the green, average. But look, two average shots and a pretty good putt. Walk away with the par. Um, you know, heck, 
I'm not gonna shoot any course records, but uh, it's pretty good, pretty good golf. This next hole I thought would be affected more by the ice storm taking out the trees because when, when, they, when we had the ice storm, my, my first thought about the golf course was, oh my God, it's taking away my target lines. Because <laughs> I use the trees as my target lines, like the right side of the tree, or the left side of the tree, or the middle of the tree. And I'm like, oh, my trees are going. They're taking out my targets. So I was really worried about this hole because I'll show you the, the tree. There's no leaves on it right now, but, and it'll play differently today because the wind's in our face. But, um, so see, you can see the cart pathway down there. See the tree on the right that comes over the fairway. I won't hit it at that tree today, but that is my line. Usually I go right over the left side of the tree and it just busts it down there. It's par five and I can get, get home in two. Um, and so, it's such a great target line because it's just that nice over the middle of the tree look for me. Today, this thing's playing into a different wind. It's, uh, it's hurt me into the face here. I can't take it on that line because it's just too, it, it, it's too much of a carry to get it down there. So the next, the next line when it's like this is there's an oak tree in the middle of the fairway. See the rocks and the oak tree to the right is to take it off of that and then bring it down to the right. So. So I'm gonna take it to the right side of that, the middle oak, and uh, see if I can't get it down there enough to, to have a, uh, I can maybe get it home today. If I, if I hit, a, hit a good enough shot here, I can get home. So let's see. All right. These are the shots that, you know, sometimes you step up and you get a little uncomfortable. So these are the ones you just gotta make sure you're comfortable. Um, I'll make sure that ball is lined up correctly. Yeah, so that's better right there. Okay, feeling good, comfortable. You gotta get comfortable, otherwise you don't wanna make swings not feeling good. All right, here we go. Well, We'll find out. That was a little right of my line. <laughs> that was my old line. <laughs> I think that's going to be in the creek. I think that one, I didn't quite get it, didn't quite release it. But it's okay. Hey, you know, winter golf, you're not going to hit every shot perfect. I didn't hit it terrible. It just kind of eh, to the right. If it got lucky, it carried, but I, I've hit that shot too many times. And I don't think it got lucky. I crept it out here too much. Oh, we'll take a quick look just to see if it, oh, no, no, look. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. See, that's, that's getting a little bit close, but that's my normal line. Typical, that's not the line I really wanted to take it on today because it's cold and I don't know if we'd carry that far. Normally, I'll hit it up there and it'll be you know, like I said, 20 yards further. So I was afraid that when I hit it on that line that it wouldn't carry enough, but you know, hey, got lucky again. See, gotta get lucky. Um, all right, this will be a challenge. This is a little further than, than I normally have. Two, 230. Yeah, normally I have uh, 180 yards in here. This is, this is playing long. Um, let's, let's look at this shot for a second. Now, this is strategy. Um, there's a layup area. It's a basically a 130 yard shot to lay it up and you have a wedge in there. That's an option. Like that might be something you want to do. Or I can take a three wood out and try to bust it up there somewhere in the vicinity of the green and get it up and down. There's a lot of trouble up there. Into the wind, a, t a three wood. So let's think what we want to do here. We can play really smart and hit the layup, or we can take the chance. Here's what I'm gonna do. I've done this, I've done this with you guys before. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the three wood out. This would be the risky shot. And I'll kind of just feel it for a second. How do I feel about that? And how do I feel? How's that feel to me? So it doesn't feel bad. Let me do a quick measurement again. So the reason I take a little more time on these shots is because these can make and break your round. These are the shots that can 
it's just one shot can make or break you. Yeah. Um, and then on the same note, if you lay it up, the worst I want to make is par, right? So you either go from doing something really stupid to um, an easy par. Let's hit the three wood. Let's just have some fun here. Um, I'm just going to play it up there and see if I can hit it a decent, solid enough shot to get it on that somewhere near the surface of the green. All right, feel all right. Uh oh. Wow. That's way over there. All right. <laughs> like I said, it's a risk reward deal. <laughs> All right. Let's go see what happened here. This will be fun. I am. Um, that is up into the trees. Now, that's why you got to think through those shots. Like that was just a, taking a high risk shot, hitting it, see what happened. And, uh, but you know, here's the problem with that. I've taken birdie out of the equation. Like I can't make birdie. You look at where this ball is going to be. I can't make birdie from there. So now I can probably hack it around and make make a par. Um, but if I would have hit the layup and hit a wedge in there, I'm going to have a birdie putt, right? So I've taken, I've kind of taken birdie out of the the picture. So that's why those shots, which you know, that was probably a dumb, a really dumb golf shot. And one of the things that's fun about that is is you can learn from it, right? So you can go, okay. Now I could have pulled it off and hit a really a miracle three wood, but you know me, I'm not a miracle guy. I don't, I've tried too much of that stuff in my life. All right, let's just drive down here and see if we can find this, find this ball. I don't, where's, ah, okay. Well, all right, so, so there's a lot of bad about this right now. Um, I'm going to try to, not to move the ball too much. One of the things I do out here is they play winter rules. Like if you were playing a money game out here with our group, we play winter rules where you can move these around. I don't like to move stuff around too much. Now, I'll try not to let the leaves move it too much, but sometimes you can't help it. Um, but anyway, rules of golf don't let you, you got to kind of play it on top of the leaves if you can't, if the ball's going to move. Okay, I was, got away with it. Okay, so I'm actually pretty lucky over here. Um, it's not going to be easy to get this close. One thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk up and take a look at what I'm dealing with around the green. I've got to come through here. And if I can, so the hard part is going to be keeping this on the green because downwind, hard surface, hit on the slope, it's going to run through. So let's, let's see, I might have to hit the little wedge and just take a chance. I'm just grabbing that gap in my. All right, so this, I gotta be aggressive on this. This is uh, so one of the things like you know you saw me hit that kind of dumb shot from back there. This is this is sitting on some really soft leaves, so it's like sitting almost like a bunker shot. Um, but you see how one bad shot starts compounding itself into multiple challenges. Um, that's kind of what I think about and why. That was just a mistake back there hitting that three wood, but you learn from it. But now, I, now I'm going, okay, now he's got to scramble around here. So, all right. I don't like this lie at all. Um, but I'm going to play it back and try to be a little bit aggressive with it if I can. Get in. Oh. Uh, and it's not that bad. It's, um, so, see this stuff? This is all thatchy, and it's creating a really soft, um, spongy, it's like the ball sitting on just fluff, and it's so easy to chunk that shot out of there, just kind of like chunk it out of there. So, I got a little aggressive with it. I knew I was gonna bang it, past, I just wanted to try to keep it somewhere on the green, but I, was, I just banged it past the hole because the last thing you wanted to do is just chunk it up into this stuff again and have a worse shot, which is so easy to do. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from your, your bad decisions back there. 
All right. I got a, I got something weird in front of the ball there. Looks like a little mound or something. I don't move stuff. I, I play it where it's at. So that's part of the, the challenge of this is that is a weird chunk. I don't know if it's going to affect it too much, but it's kind of a chunky little spot. Um, I see ball coming in this way, so I, I feel like it's going to go to the go to the right. I'm going to come down here and take one quick look. Okay, let's just play it left side. I don't think that's going to mess with it too much. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to go right over the ramp here. Okay. Oh, that would have been the greatest four in the history of Earth. Sometimes I wonder though, you know, the flag's in, would that have gone in if the flag wasn't in there? I don't know, man. Sometimes I've seen a couple tour players, I've seen a couple tour players hit the flag and it bounces out. That one, you know, it was moving, but crap. Okay. All right, we'll take five. Um, I would not do that again though. Now, you might say, well, there's no leaves in the trees and, and it was a little, it's not crazy up here, but it was hard. You know, I would rather be back there with a little wedge because I know if I have a wedge in my hand, I'm going to have a 10 footer or less for birdie. So anyway, it just, those add up. You know, you play around of golf and you play 18 holes of golf and you do that three or four times around, you're going to get make bogeys. So we got out of there. This is, this is the beast right here. Hey, they put the wolf. They got the wolf up there. Okay. Wow, this hole is... 206. Wow, what a hole today. Love it. Okay, so wind. Got to get, got to figure out the wind here. 206 wind. It's coming right to left. It's not helping us a lot. I'm looking back here at some of the flags because I like to look at the open area wind where I can see because you can't really sometimes, you, there's no leaves to look at, so I got to look at the flags. Um, we're stepping into this hole. Um, let's, let's be honest about this hole. It's a really good par three. It's an island green. Um, it's 206 yards. It's almost playing downwind, maybe a little right to left. I can get a four iron there. Let me see how I feel about that. Four iron's a good, good club. It's gonna get me to the middle of the green. I don't necessarily expect this to get all the way back to that flag, um, but I think, I think we're gonna be good with this club here, so. All right, let's do it. And you know, the wind killed it. it, came off the right. Whoa, you see that? <laughs> wow, okay, awesome. So I hit it all right. I hit it just past middle of the green, it's 206 yards. It hit on the down slope on the opposite side of the green. Okay, so it flies 200. Hit so hard, winter golf, it just kicked 30 yards past the green. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is winter golf. This is why, and by the way, that was a good shot. I mean, that was, that was actually a hit pretty good. I was happy with that. Come, come, come look at where this golf ball is because you're gonna be like, that was a good shot? Like, you hit a good shot there? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I hit that one pretty good. This is what's so crazy about conditions. You know, we watch the PJ Tour and I've played plenty of tournaments and the conditions are so good and, and the, everything's in great shape and the greens are perfect and the bunkers are perfect and the fairways are perfect. And then you hit, this is what actually happens when you play golf. You hit a good shot and it hits on a hard downslope because the green is super hard. And look where this golf ball is. It's going to be such a hard golf shot to get this up and down. Plus, I probably have no lie because it's winter golf. <laughs> so I'll go, I want to show you where this hit actually. Okay, so here's my ball. 
<laughs> look at how hard the shot is. Okay, but look, so that ball, I bet you I can find where it hit. I aim at the middle of the green. So I'm at the middle of the green. It, the, the wind hits it this way. It, oh, here it is. It hits right here. See that? It's right there on the down slope. Kicks it all the way up through there. So look, I go from, eh, what is that? 35 feet left of the hole, miss the green by a yard, to no shot. I'm telling you what, that's that's uh, that's it. That's this is golf right here. This is why those numbers on that scorecard sometimes don't reflect all the stuff that actually goes on out here. All right, I'm not hitting off that rock. I can tell you that, but and I'm gonna tell you right now about this shot right here. I'm gonna just take a drop over here. This is brutal. I mean, what do you got, right? I literally, I literally right here am playing for bogey. But here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to kick it into here and roll it up into there and try to keep a ball on the green, but I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna hit a little lower shot out of there. This is all about making I, got, I just got to get it all, just rolling over that slope. It's a, it's a bump and run. Try to catch the middle of the slope and just get it onto that green. Let's see what happens. Hit it left. Check that out. <laughs> I told you, I told you it was brutal. And what happened is I missed that, I missed my spot. I had like a runway, that little runway right there, and I hit a left of the runway. All right, very, very difficult. But let's not make bad into worse, right? Okay, um, same thing, I'm gonna putt this. These are the ones that you, you kinda wanna chip, but then you look and there's nothing to it, and you just wanna putt up the slope. All right, let's just hit a little putt here. Run it up the slope. Try to get it onto the surface. Let's see which way it's going here. It's coming that way. All right. Not much to it. All right. A little bump, a little bump right there. It'll go a little left right there. I'll take it. I mean, it's like, uh, look, you just don't want to make bad, bad to worse. So I am, um, I want to hit the shot again, if you don't mind. I want to see, these are the ones where even if I would have hit my spot, I'm not sure it would have been any good, but this is from where that ball was. This is the runway, there's a little flat spot right here. I was just trying to bounce it up into there. Then I hit it and it landed right there. Um, I'm gonna hit it with my little more lofted club this time. I just wanna see what that looks like. The other thing too, a good thing about winter golf is that usually not a lot of people on the golf course. <laughs> you can come out here and hit extra shots. Okay, I'm gonna, once again, it's a little back in the stance, slam it into that slope and see if I can just bounce it onto the green. That's better, look at that, kick to the right. Oh boy, that's how hard that is. That's why this course is such a great, this is why they played so many major championships out here because, because if you miss a green, I missed it by a yard. If you miss a green, this can happen and you end up having just impossible shots. Now. Granted that in the summertime there's grass there, and so you'll get a lie, and you can probably flop a wedge, not a problem. But when you're in the wintertime like this, see how thatchy this is? It gives you these really weird lies. You gotta play really safe golf. We got out of here with bogey. I'm not uh, super excited about bogeys, but hey. It's, um, it's a different game. It's, it's more link style, I think. It's more, it's more bump and run, the ball's on the ground. You're more 
trying to navigate the roll of the ball. It's not all fly and flop and everything. A lot of fun, actually. You're going to make bogeys. You're going you're gonna to have some weird stuff going out here in the winter. The other day, I played a... So it's about actually three weeks ago. I played a money game out here with some of the guys and uh, hadn't played in a while. It was pretty rusty, but played okay and uh, hit some really, really good shots. On the last green, I three putted and lost uh, lost 30 bucks. But I played good. Sometimes it just takes one shot. All right. Um, Wow, this will be the hardest, the hardest hole of the day. Straight into the fan, into the wind. Look at that. Woo! Windy and cold. All right. So, let's just see if I can't get it. It's down the middle there. I just like the center, center side there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one thing here on my, as I hit this shot, I'm going to try to bring my trajectory down. The way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to narrow my feet just a little bit. Just bring my feet in, which gives me a little more shaft in front of the ball. And it'll bring the ball flight down just a fraction. So let's just do that and see how that feels. So instead of being here, I'm just going to go narrow, a little more narrow, just a tiny bit. Oh, it's perfect. That's good as I can hit it. And the ball flight, just so you'll see that on the shot tracer, but normally it'd be about twice that high. And because I just brought it down, it just gives it some roll and it keeps it just enough below the wind to creep it out there because it's going to play long either way. That one will creep out there pretty good. You'll be surprised how far this ball went just because it probably only flew about 240 or 250 but it probably took off another 10, 15 yards, so it won't be that bad. But you get into the wind like that, and you balloon it up there, and then you're faced with the, not only do you hit in the trouble, but you're faced with the hard shots. This is a pretty hard fairway to hit sometimes because you got this big old slope to the right, and crap. Eh, where are you? Look at that, there you go. I'll take it all day long. This is probably the best drive of the day for as, for as windy and crappy as it is. Um, and just to give you an idea, normally I'm 20 yards up into that gap hitting a 9-iron or an 8-iron or sometimes even a wedge in here. I'll hit it down there in that valley because you get down there in that valley. But today, let's see how far we have. One forty one. Not bad. That's not bad to hit it from there to have one hundred and forty yards in. OK, um, here's what we'll do on this shot. One forty one. Let's calculate this one forty one up uphill a little bit um, into the wind. Let's call it a 15. So one fifty five, one fifty five. But you don't want to hit it too high. So I'm going to hit a seven iron, which is my one sixty five club. And then I'm going to take a little bit, just to keep the flight lower on this. I think I can get a 7-iron there. 145, 165, yeah. So, all right, it's a little 7-iron. Nice, good swing to hit it solid. I don't want to hit muscle it and try to get it up in the wind. Just keep it down. All right. And I'm going to narrow my feet just a fraction just to keep the ball flighted. So I can't hit it better than that. The ball was perfectly straight, perfect trajectory. I have no idea how close it is. It took a weird bounce. I don't know if you saw that. It took a weird bounce. Uh, that could have been, it could have been on the green slope. There's a little slope inside the green. So we'll see. But I hit it on my line perfectly. So I can't do much better. Oh, it's in the middle. So yeah, I mean, that's what happened. It hit the, I saw it take a weird bounce. Uh, we'll, we'll see where this ball landed. It, uh, I mean, this is the, this pins on the left side, 
so I hit it, you know, right here, which is perfect. It went a little long. Yeah, see, it went a little long. And then it kicked down to the right. That's what I kind of saw. It, it's a smart play, you know, 140 yards, that's a, that's a nine iron normally. I had a seven iron because of the wind, but see what happened, I got it to the center of the green. And, um, you know, you, just gotta, you, gotta, you gotta play kind of like that when you're in this cold weather because you can't trust the fact the wind's gonna kill the shot. All right, this is a huge right to left slope. It's all going that way. The key on this putt is to make sure that you get it up high enough. Yeah, it's coming in this way. Let's uh, let's hit a good putt here. I wanna. I've actually putted well today with my longer putts. It's been it's been decent today. All right, we got to get it high enough. This thing will come down quite a bit. Oh, get down. Oh, get down. Woo, it's fast. And the problem with this putt, it's straight downwind, and, and it looks like it's uphill, but it's actually straight downhill. Yeah, it's pretty brutal right there. All right, come on. That was a little bit too firm. left side. Well, that wasn't very nice. So, I got a question. I got a question. I want you to leave some comments for me on the channel. Let's wait this butt one more time. So, sometimes when you have these long putts like this, okay. Here's my debate for you, and you can, you can leave your comments below in the channel. Should you take a practice stroke or not? I wanna know your ideas, because watch this. If I was gonna toss a golf ball, right? If I was gonna sit there and just toss a ball, you wouldn't go like this, you wouldn't go practice, toss, practice, toss. Okay, I got it. Here's what you would do, you'd walk up, you just look at your line and toss. And watch this. It's a much better putt, right? Because sometimes I think what happens is you, and this would happen to me on that last putt, I get up here and I'm like, okay, how hard should I hit it? And then I'm kind of just focused on the line, I bang, hit it too hard. Whereas I know, I, I can feel that this is gonna be super fast going down there. So leave your comments below. Practice strokes or no practice strokes? Hey, we shot, we played pretty decent, shot one over par, made a couple bogeys coming in, hard holes, right? I mean, winter golf is a challenge. Hope you enjoyed the content on the golf course. I always enjoy being out here. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.